All right, so let's take a look at how we can embed our scheduler on our website. Now, this is a very important part because if you don't do this, you will be risking a lot of uh, traffic going outside of your website. You want to keep all your traffic directly inside your website. The longer they stay on your website, the better. <clears throat> so, in general, though, most people would uh, book right on the scheduling page that looks like this. Well, that's usually how it goes. You can always change the name <coughs> to whatever you want. Um, but what we need to do is to embed the actual link. Uh, so we can do direct link, which is the same thing. Just copy and paste, really. We can embed the scheduler, which is what we want. Now, a lot of uh, online schedulers out there, uh, I'm not going to name names, but those ones may specifically say for the clinic, only allow you to do a booking button, which is useless. You're, you're, you're being taken, your, your traffic is being taken away to the online scheduler. It doesn't do your business any good. It just drives more traffic to their business. So I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest doing this. Same thing with booking bar. Honestly, I don't know what the hell is booking bar. <sighs> I've never used booking bar in my life. Oh, this is booking bar. Okay, so booking bar is one ugly piece of stuff. I do not use this. I create a very specific uh button right on the website schedule now you click on this this is the online scheduler okay that's how people see it and how do we do that easy embed the scheduler copy and paste and if you're using WordPress it's very easy I'm just log in to WordPress Remember me. Oops, forgot to update. Let me update that first. Actually, let me update that later. So let's go to schedule now. Let's go to edit page. And then, so this is how WordPress looks like. As you can see, it looks kind of odd text this is where you're gonna be embedding so iframe source equals this this is the exact same thing iframe source equals this um, java square source I don't know why it doesn't have this that's weird um, 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 um. Let's go to Elementor because this should be in Elementor, to be honest. Uh, okay, so adding should be like 100, 100 update. So as you can see, this is just like uh, the same text editor I'm using. That's Elemental Pro uh, text editor. So it's very very easy. Um, so you just copy and paste the exact same thing. Although they do have a JavaScript embed, JavaScript. I don't know why there's that. Uh, when I embedded, it didn't have that. Uh, you can also. So anyways, when you're done here, you just say. update and then go back to here reserve go back to the same page and there you go this is the same form uh, 
yeah, that's it. That's how you embed it. So all the all the traffic gets kept in here. Okay, so that's all you need to remember. Uh, now on the side note here, there's also Facebook, Instagram, WordPress, whatever. You can always do these things. Uh, add a booking call to action. Whoa, I did not know this. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I learned this just now. You can put it into Facebook, book now. This I know, booking tab is fairly easy. Yeah, I know this. I didn't know about Instagram. Uh, so if you're using Squarespace, GoDaddy, Weebly, Drupal, Joomla, Webs, Wix, it's all the same. Or you can get the developer to do that to, for you. I don't think you need to, you just watch the video. Actually, if you don't understand what's going on, let me know. Just keep, but keep watching this video. Alright, so let's go to the next video, which is to add new user.